kids, can we have a photo op session with you for a second? So everyone can smile and take this one lovely photograph with you? Sure. All right, guys, kids, bring your best smile to the screen. Yes, that's right. There you go. Thank you. Well, Scott, I'm going to leave you with this wonderful audience for now because I know the audience must be super excited to listen to you, and so am I. The kids and I will take your leave. We'll be backstage. Give us a call out. Give me a call out, Scott, once you're done. I will join you. It's over to you for now. Okay. Well, thanks again, Samir. And uh, hey, kids, really great to be here with you. Uh, this morning, I'm actually in uh, Colorado, so it's uh, 8.15 a.m. for me. I understand that uh, you guys are in different places around the world. I saw Kelly there. I think Kelly was in uh, Los Angeles, but uh, understand there are kids from all over the world. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is about Creator Space Mission Mars, but really from uh, the perspective of what we're doing right now uh, to prepare for that Mars mission. And that starts with this incredible place called the International Space Station that I had the uh, privilege of spending, wow, over over 500 uh, days of my life on. And uh, this space station, as you can see here in this picture, uh, is a unique uh, picture for a couple of reasons. One, it has the space shuttle attached to it. So this was taken by a Russian Soyuz. And in that space shuttle was my twin brother, Mark, uh, when uh, he was on board the space station for his last mission. He was the commander of that space shuttle. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of a introductory video here, has some music, and uh, just gives you a little bit of an exciting sense for what, uh, what the space station looks like. And then I'll talk about a lot of this stuff in particular, uh, you know, starting with the functioning of the space station. Go like, ahead, okay. As an astronaut in space. Also, uh, an experiment.